Hey everyone, Harold Roskill here, and welcome to the WP Local Search Supremacy Plugin version 2. Now, back in uh, the end of January, Joe and I launched version 1 of the Local Search Supremacy Plugin, and it was a huge success for local search marketers. Uh, we had great reviews, we got tons of feedback on version 1. We've taken all that feedback uh, and a bunch of things that Joe and I wanted to do ourselves in version 1, but didn't couldn't fit it in. And we've pushed all this into version two and we're launching it. Uh, so basically the plugin's more powerful, looks better, and does more things than version one. Now, version one owners, don't worry, you get a free upgrade to version two. That means you got in at a better price uh, and you're gonna get lifetime updates. Version two uh, purchasers, of course, you'll get free lifetime updates from here as we update the plugin into the future. So the purpose of this video is to take you through the plugin uh, features. I'll show you exactly what it does, why it's important, and how you can use this in your business and with your local offline marketing clients or uh, maybe do local CPA or Google Places. Anything to do with local search, uh, the plugin is, is very useful for. So uh, I've installed it here on a WordPress site, and once you've installed it, You'll see here on the left-hand side, you've got the Supremacy Plugin menu. Now, when you first install it, you'll see a licensing option. You'll have to put your license in there. But once you put the license in, the mod that module disappears, and that's really handy uh, for clients' websites. They don't get a hold of your license code. So the first module you'll see is called Call to Actions. Now, in my offline business, I see this all the time. Clients come to me, I look at their website, and there's no call to action on it. They have, a, they have a nice brochure of a website, but there's there's nothing to get them to call them, no incentive to do it, nothing to incentive to put their email address in. Uh, there's no image, there's no coupons. I mean, you name it, there's no call to action. So that is our first module. Very straightforward, and all the modules have a title, which you can display or not. Now, in the call to action modules, there's an input box. Uh, I have an AWeber opt-in form currently in there. You can put whatever you want, images, text, um, you, you name it, it can go in there, okay? Uh, down below, you'll see you can show, control the aesthetics of, of what this module is going to look like once published. You have the border color, background color, border width, border style, font style, font size, font color. So all these aesthetics are now included on in every single module, and that's an upgrade from version one. We didn't have that there. Additionally, you see here's a thing called short code. If you copy and paste that short code into any page or post, it's gonna to publish to that, okay? Uh, I will show you, I'm gonna go over to the widgets, and I'll show you how easy it is to put this into the sidebar. It's already in there, but all you'd have to do is drag and drop it in there. Uh, for each module, there are two widgets, which means you could have a particular module and two different widgetized areas on your website. Here are all the widgets I have dragged in here, all the modules I have. Uh, but again, it's as simple as dragging and dropping it in, just like that. Okay, so let's go over... Um, Let's go over to the web page, and you can see what this looks like published. So here's a, uh, a published version of the website, and here's that call to action box, again, with my AWeber opt-in form. I mean, very straightforward. Obviously, on a client's website or a local search website, I'd make that look a little bit better, but you get the idea. So now let's go back, and let's go to the Google Maps insertion. This is uh, my favorite module. Google Maps are obviously huge. I mean, look at Google Places uh, and, and Maps. You see them on websites all the time. It's a bit of a pain to put them in. There are some plugins that do it. Oftentimes, you have to copy and paste code in. Well, we've made this ridiculously easy, and this, this does a whole bunch of different things. So to add a map to your website, click the Geolocator tool. A little pop-up is going to come in. Put in your zip code, your address, uh, sometimes a business name will even work. I'll put a 90210, which I know is in LA, and we'll do a search. And it lands there, and I'm going to drag and drop it onto a street. And I'm going to click on return data. And it has now populated the full address, longitude, latitude, street, postal code, and city. It's all in there for our map. Additionally, below here, you can control the zoom levels that people see, the height and width. Uh, on a page and the height and width and the sidebar you can control and again here are all your aesthetic controls for that module the, the border the fonts uh, and all of that good stuff here is your short code here that you can copy and paste in and at the bottom if you choose you can use a custom code that you want to use yourself by simply selecting it I should also say on every single module, there's a little help button at the top. And when you hover over that, this whole menu is going to open up. It's going to walk you through each module and exactly how to use it. As well, there's a login to the WP Emporium, which is the membership site that's included with the WP uh, Supremacy plugin. It has video tutorials on every single module, as well as a bit of a community, and our support desk is in there as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and publish this. I'll click on Update. 
and it's updated. It's now published to your website, and you go over here. You can see here's uh, over in Beverly Hills exactly our map. Now you can control the zoom level. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. You can click on this. It's going to give you the place name, and you can click on that, and it'll actually take you over to Google Maps. Uh, so that's on our on our site. There's something else that happened, and I'm going to open up the page source for this. I'll bring it in by using the Google Maps module. It's also put the metadata geographic information into your metadata tags. This is huge. A lot of sites don't do this. A lot of people don't do this, but you can see the full metadata is up there. Again, a very simple thing, but we're telling the search engines exactly where our business is located by doing that. Okay. So it's not only putting a map on your website, it's putting the metadata information right into the header where it's supposed to be. And we'll close that out and we'll come down to the next one, which is the business address. Uh, this is uh, right up there with the Google Maps with the, one of the more powerful modules in the plugin. Now, this is where the microdata from schema.org comes from. Now, I won't explain what microdata does. That's in the sales trend, but it's really, really important. And Google wants you to have it on your website. And it involves a bunch of complicated coding, which uh, I typically have done by hand on my clients' websites. But with the plugin, it's going to do it for you. All you have to do is fill out the information. So the business information and the address information go down there below. Again, you control what it looks like, the fonts, the, the styles, the colors, all that good information you can put in there. Once you update it, and I'll go over and I'll show you how it looks published, it's going to give you a very nice looking uh, publication of their address and some information about what the business does. But in the source code, you'll see this is all wrapped in metadata and micro tagged information that's going to really, really help your website in the search engines. I have yet to come across a client's website that has this when they come to me. Uh, they all have them when they leave and they send me the check, of course, but nobody, not very many businesses are using this. So uh, if you do anything, even if you don't grab the, the plugin to use, make sure you start using microdata on your websites. Uh, coming back to the module, there's a couple other features. You can upload an image if you want to show in this. Maybe they have a business card or a logo, uh, whatever you want, and you can choose to turn the microdata on and off. Uh, and of course, here at the bottom is the short code. All right, that's it for the business address. Let's go to the business hours. And again, the business hours, obviously a good feature you want to have on your website. For version two, this is new. This has microdata text wrapped around it. We've also included uh, a 24 hour clock and there's also the half hours in here. Uh, so there's all the information you possibly you could need. You can turn, uh, you, can, you can have it marked as closed on any day of the week. You can also hide any day of the week. Here's all your set of controls uh, and your short code at the bottom. And if we go over to the website, here are your store hours uh, with your title and, and all the hours that you're open and or closed. All right, let's move along and let's go down to social media. We all know social media. We know how important it is. We know the rise of Google Plus and how it is starting to play into search results. What's always been a bit of a pain is sometimes including these logos and the links on your websites. There are, again, some plugins that do it. Uh, but we wanted to include it here to make it really, really easy and to promote the use of linking to your social media website. So how does it work? Simple. You click on choose a logo. We have seven uh, you know, high definition design logos that you can choose from, or you can click here and upload your own for maybe a different service or, or a different logo that you want to use. Once it's uploaded, you paste in here the destination URL of that logo and simply click on update at the bottom. Uh, of course, here are your aesthetic controls and we'll go over to the site. You can see here are our social medias. You link on these and these are all linked to the, uh, the various services that are there. We have another uh, social media which is called business review sites. Now, business review sites, if you do anything with Google Places, you'll obviously know about citations. For local businesses, it's incredibly important to have your business address and business information across the internet on as many sites as possible. Uh, some of the big ones, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Merchant Circle, of course, uh, and we've included those here. So we want you to link to those. This is going to help businesses to start get reviews, and it's also going to help your full sort of spread and your net across the internet and, and Google understanding about the business. And it functions the same way as the social media. We've included four here that you can choose from, or you can upload your own, and then you simply link to them here with your URL. I should say also that you can uh, change the the width of all of your all of your uh, logos. Uh, when you change the width, it'll automatically adjust the height for you. Uh, and so you can make them look exactly how you want. Maybe you want smaller ones, maybe you want bigger ones. Uh, no problem, the plugin will do that for you. And here are the business reviews. All right, the last active model uh, module is called the KML File and Geo Sitemap 
file upload feature. Now, if you don't know what KML file is, it comes for Keyhole Markup Language. Bottom line is, it's a file type that Google reads for Google Earth. Uh, Google Earth's an awesome tool; it gives you, you know, overhead images of the Earth, and you can check it out. Uh, and by including this file on your website and creating a geo site map that points to it to tell Google exactly where the camel file is, it provides another instance of exactly where your business is, down to like within a couple feet on the Earth, and it helps Google categorize your business into local search and start showing it when type, someone types in a specific city, say Seattle chiropractor, Chicago. Chicago doctor, uh, you know, so on and so forth. The more information we can give Google on where the business is, the better. To create your geosite map and KML file, there's all kinds of free services on the internet. Uh, I have one right here. If you click on the, the word here, it's going to take you to one where you'll create the KML file and the geosite map for free and download them to your computer. Once they're downloaded, you just click on Browse. Uh, you find the file on your computer, click on update, and it's going to upload it, and it's going to give you the exact location right here of where it's been uploaded into the root directory of your website. Same for the sitemap. Once you have the sitemap information, you can, of course, go over and drop that into your Google Webmasters account if you choose, uh, and you're all set. These are all, you know, really great SEO tactics that I use on my clients all the time uh, and we've included in the plugin because these are things that you should be doing and, and a lot of you I know are already probably doing this the plugin just makes it ridiculously easy to do uh, the last one here oh, there's two more or other <laughs> settings some themes will let you update the sidebar width from right here uh, other themes you'll have to go actually to the theme setting itself and you can upload them and the last one is the upgrade plugin uh, you'll get a notice on the dashboard. Uh, it's in red. You won't be able to miss it that there's a new version. So the next one will be version 2.1 whenever we make some updates. Uh, and when there is a new version available, you'll come here, you click on update plugin, and literally in less than 10 seconds, your version of the plugin will be uh, completely updated and you'll be good to go. Uh, and, and you'll have obviously the most recent version. So going back to the website, it includes all the stuff in the sidebar, ridiculously easy. You can input any of this information uh, into any page or post, and this is going to streamline and give you some great SEO powers <laughs> into your WordPress websites in terms of local search. Now, again, the version one owners get the version two for free. If you're looking at this for the first time, uh, I urge you to consider it. Uh, by all means, if you have any questions, send us a PM or drop them into the thread here. We'd be happy to answer those for you. Uh, the launch is happening right now. Not sure how long it's going to stay open, and this is going to be on uh, in the dime sale format so the price is going to be increasing uh, as it goes along we have continued support for everybody we have uh, the WP Emporium where the product is housed so we have video tutorials on every single module as well as a complete help desk for any problems now I know in version one some people had some very custom installs they did of the of the theme with some uh, businesses that require different elements and I was happy to go in for those people and do some slight alterations in their plugin and the programming uh, to accommodate them. All right, the buy now buttons are at the bottom. Uh, if this is something that you feel could really help your business, by all means jump on it. We'd love to have you on board and we look forward to seeing you on the inside. Bye for now.